Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've made a video. I have just been struggling in life really, just to be completely transparent and just to show it's okay to take a break really. Um, I feel like I needed to take a break and kind of regroup, recollect myself. And I feel like I am doing a slightly better now. So I am back with a full face of Barry M Cosmetics and this is all the makeup on my face so stay tuned to find out what i think clearly i've gone overboard with the blush but that's a whole situation within itself so yeah definitely carry on watching we all know barry m is famous for its nail polishes and if you're as old as me you know they used to do those dazzle eyeshadow pots which were literally the most incredible thing to swatch I know swatching makeup is a thing of the past since COVID, which is actually heartbreaking because it's one of my favorite things to do when I go shopping. But <laughs> if you're as old as me, you'll remember those and they were the shit. So let's see what a full face is all about. Enough of me chit chatting, let's get straight into the video. So I've got two primers right here. I have the Unicorn Primer Drops Beauty Elixir, and this looks like a huge dupe for the first Sally one. And then I also have the Flawless Original Primer, which is like pore filling. So I'm gonna layer the primers. I'm gonna like hydrate my skin with this one. I just wanna see if it's like pink and glittery too. She is pink. She's not as sparkly, but she's definitely pink. This is definitely, I'd say, a little bit smaller than the Frasali one. And obviously, it comes in like a cube packaging, whereas the Frasali one is more rounded. First thing things, we're going to smell it. Okay, it does not smell like the Frasali one. This one smells a little bit more like citrusy. Still smells fruity, still smells nice. Okay, the pipette is not the best thing in the world. It doesn't even really get that much product okay I'm dipping in for the thousandth time that definitely has a very very strong lemon undertone and it's quite thick i thought it was gonna be more watery it feels like a thick serum which i can feel it like hydrating my skin and it feels quite nice so that primer has dried down it's a little bit tacky that's great, great for foundation. It's gonna make the base stick on a lot better. Next primer is the Flawless Original Primer. Okay, so that has been layered on top of the other primer and you know what, it sits really well. The two work really well together and this has definitely blurred my pores. It is very silicone-y. I thought it would look more silicone-y, like usually the formulation is a little bit more puffy and it's usually translucent. It does feel a little bit slippery on the skin, but we're going to go in with the foundation and then see what the situation is really like. I've tanned and the more I tan, the more my vitiligo becomes apparent. So I feel, I feel like in life I've been having a stressful minute and I can see my vitiligo basically spreading and this is the fastest it's spread since maybe like i was i don't even know like 10 years old so it's like really hard to adjust i've got like loads of like new spots on my cheek here some on my forehead and for me it's like it's really hard to accept even though i've accepted it like when you see new areas of your skin go white it's just it's so it's such a it's a bit of bit of pill to swallow so yeah i've been like wearing a lot more full coverage things recently Right, so for foundation, you know what? I, I struggled to find a Barry M foundation. They had like the, the new kind of foundation, which is more of like a BB cream. Then there's this one, which is a really like old cult favorite. It's the all night long full coverage foundation. And this is sold out pretty much everywhere. And I'm not sure if it's gonna be continued, but they didn't really have every shade everywhere. Like I had to look everywhere to get my shade. So I got the shade Almond. This is what the foundation looks like. It does look a little bit pink for my liking, but we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with it. Hopefully the concealer can like sort the tone out. Initially, that doesn't look like a bad match. So 
so that is one and a half pumps on my skin i'm not convinced that is full coverage that is medium coverage i can still see my vitiligo peeking out here on my forehead a little bit the tone of this is a little bit like more peachy than i would like it smells like cleaning product which <laughs> i don't know if you want to be putting that on your face but it smells nice so i'm gonna go in with more maybe another pump and a half okay so working moms came back on to netflix i love love that show like i don't have any kids but i feel like i can relate to their you know adult problems and i'm like oh it's just so funny it's it literally makes me die in the best way possible okay one thing i have to know is that even though i've done layered this up quite a lot it's not gone thick it's not gone cakey i think the the finish of it is more of a like a satin finish my face is actually a lot more orange than i would like it to be so i'm definitely gonna go crazy with that concealer i have this all night long full coverage i can see that and this is in the shade oatmeal i hope it lightens this whole oompa loompa situation like the contrast is unreal this concealer actually has a lot of good reviews i think i'm about like three years too late to this game but with barry m the only thing i've kind of used are the lip glosses and also the nail polishes this is like a barry m nail polish mixed in with another one yeah so my friend told me that you could mix nail polishes and since she told me that i have literally not stopped mixing them yeah honestly it's like you're in portions class when you're mixing them and you're like Ooh, i wonder what this combination of colors will make it's really addictive honestly i really recommend it try it try mixing your nail polishes <laughs> as you can see like this concealer situation has actually oxidized a little bit so it's going a little bit more peachy but the longer it stays on my skin the more it's kind of like stinging me which is weird also i feel like you have to work fast with this because it looks like it's drained down a little bit it's quite opaque it's like full coverage love that okay, so that's kind of lightened up my face situation and that's done a really really good job of covering up my dark circles because they are dark not really been sleeping that much because it's this thing it's like a psychological issue yeah, so basically people that work all day and are night owls and are most productive at night have an issue or feel formal with like missing out on the day so you stay up all night to compensate and then clearly you don't have enough sleep so you're sleep deprived the cycle repeats and you basically just stay in a state of sleep deprivation which is not good for you but just shows you that the night of life is not for you <laughs> which is where i'm at in life <laughs> That's why I'm just gonna put it in here right now. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe because I would love for this to be my full-time job. Yeah, <laughs> putting it out there, putting it out into the universe. One day, maybe, you know, my dream will come true. <laughs> okay, so to set all of this, you know, liquid makeup, even though it's not creased that much, it's actually sitting on the skin quite nice. I've got this Ready, Set, Smooth. It's like a translucent powder. I have never used any of Barry M's powders or powder products, so I'm just really intrigued. So it comes with a little puff. We're definitely using the puff. If I've learned anything this year, it's that a puff will really change the way powder sits on your face. Like, I prefer it to a brush. I prefer it to a sponge. Like, this is like retro, old school, and I can't believe like this is one of the best tools. Mm -mm. If it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. It even comes with a little mirror. Yes, Barry M. This was not even that expensive. Maybe like five or something. And it comes with a mirror. Like high-end products, more expensive products don't. So that's all I'm saying. I feel like it has powdered me down. It's left me a little bit smoother, but I've got a white cast. Definitely. I don't know if that's gonna go away when I spritz my face with setting spray, but I really have to note that I am not sure this is brown girl friendly. 
for bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, all of that good stuff, highlighter. I have got the Barry M multi-purpose palette and it's the velvet palette. So you've got a bronzer, blush, highlighter situation right here. All of these shades look really nice. I think if you are like fair, light, medium, medium skin tone, this will look really good on you. And then I've got like a kind of very smoky, kind of mauve tones eyeshadow palette. So I'm really excited to kind of use this. There's no mirror in here, but you, it is like double sided. So it's very travel friendly. First things first, we are going to bronze. So I'm just gonna go into the bronzer. Not too pigmented. It's definitely chiseling me. Yeah, I like that. I ain't mad at it. That is me all bronzed up. That bronzer is it's very warm. Has a slight hint of an orange undertone. But I think it blends really nice and it has really good pigmentation. So yeah, it's lovely. Okay, I, like a dodo, have powdered down my entire face. And I forgot I had like a cream cheek blusher. So this is the Barry M multi Tude Lip and Cheek Tint. And this actually I thought was going to be so much bigger than it is. Like it's it's tiny. This is tiny. I've got it in the shades Dare Me. I've just got a little heart at the top. How cute. And you get like a little spray on. It's so cute. And then you unwind it here. Put it underneath, just like we used to do when we were kids with those, you know, crayons. And you can kind of see like the different shades. I'm going in with the most vibrant of the colors. And I'm gonna see if this is gonna be good on top of powdered base. So I'm just gonna, ooh, she's, she's thick and she's pigmented. Oof. Putting the size of it to a side, I actually think that because it's thick, you you get a lot of wear out of it. I'm just gonna. Oh, no, I feel like it's not gonna blend out. Please don't do this to me. Oh my god, what have I done? What the food have I done? Stop. Right, I don't think this is for powdered. Bases. I think this is for you to put on your cheeks when your base is wet. That has definitely disrupted the foundation. Okay, so that was a really, really bad idea. It looks blotchy. Uh, it doesn't really blend out on top of powdered bases. It's really like the force I had to go in with to kind of blend it out. It's disrupted the foundation and the rest of the base so yeah no i would just not recommend that this shade of blush is like a pinky rosy shade really different to the kind of neon pink i've just put on i'm hoping that i can just kind of make this work so here goes everything I swear to you, it did not look this pigmented in the pan. Oh, oh, oh my God. What is going on there? This side, I can work with. The patchiness has kind of been blended away. But this side, oh my goodness, it looks like I have sunburn, like really, really bad sunburn. So let's get some powder and try and just tone this down. This is a nightmare. I did not see it going this way. I thought this was all gonna work really well. I think this is more of a SEMA problem rather than the product problem. All right, that is the best I'm gonna get it. It is literally the most blushy look of all time, unintentional, but we are just gonna carry on, persevere and hope for the best. Highlighter time. Now the highlighter in this palette looks a little bit dark, but we're just gonna roll with it. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a more of a deeper tone. Perfect for a medium skin tone. Not too sure about my skin tone, but we're just gonna try it. 
No, it's definitely dark. I can see the cast already. <sighs> Why is nothing working out? Okay. In terms of glow, it's actually really pretty, but I can see a cast. So I'm gonna mix it in with this eyeshadow shade called Silk, and just to maybe hopefully lighten it up. Yeah, that's making it work a lot better. Okay, can can you can you can you? <laughs> that is a very very beautiful highlight. So I can vouch for this being a multi-purpose palette because you can use the eyeshadow as a highlighter. So this is the Barry M Flawless Mist and Fix Makeup Setting Spray. It's a dewy finish one and I'm hoping this is just going to do the most. So this is definitely, it's probably the most painful thing I've ever used. I use it once and I swear to god I felt like my lips were burning. Barry M have lip plumpers. They are fantastic. They're really nice. They do what they say they're gonna do and they're pretty cheap. This one, right? I did not keep it on long enough because I really couldn't hack it. I, I like the tingling sensation, but this was a little, like, my lips were on fire. I felt like I was having an allergic reaction to something. So this is the That's XXX Swell Extra Hot Extreme Lip Plumper and they say it has chili in it and I swear to god I believe it because your lips literally feel like they're on fire so here goes everything wish me luck because this is pain right so the tingling sensation has not begun yet but I will let you know when it does got like a slight little tingling around here for brows I have two products here I have the take a brow brow gel and I have the dual ended brow wand and this is in the shade dark oh ooh, ooh, okay I was not expecting that one side we've got a pencil however the other side we have a gel I was not expecting that so I think we're gonna go in with the clear gel first and then we're gonna go in with the pencil and then the tinted brow gel. So the lips are definitely, definitely tingling right now. Yeah, they're tingling. It gets so much worse than this. So let's go into the brow gel. I'm really surprised at the size of this like brush. It's really tiny. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger, but maybe this is better. So oh, we're just gonna, ooh, ooh, ooh. That was really good, that was really, that, like, let me just show you how fast I can kind of make my brows fluffy. All right, so when I like to do like salt brows, like fluffy brows, brushed up brows, whatever you wanna call them, I like to keep them kind of natural looking around here because I feel like when they're too spiky, I look like a hedgehog. And I just like to kind of bring them out on the sides, like that's my feathered effect. Yeah, I feel like this is a really nice little brow gel. Love the brush. Oh my god, my lips are tingling so much right now. Oh. <sighs> they definitely look bigger, definitely. But I can feel it. I really, really, really feel it. So I'm just gonna go in with a brow pencil fill them in like I usually do. So I'd like to do like a really defined line underneath, makes them look really neat. And I've not done my brows in a, in a hot minute, so that's that. Oh my God, my lips. <sighs> I think lip, actual like lip injections would be less um, painful than this lip, lip gloss. Like this lip gloss is so intense. Who approved this? Gonna go in with the brow gel and just kind of fix them. My eyebrow hairs are pretty set from the other gel, so it is quite strong. I'm just adding a little tint to them right now. I really like these brow products. I think Barry M does really good brow products. My lips, on the other hand, are literally like, oh my god, it's like I rubbed a chili all over them. So next thing we're doing is eyeshadow. So these are the tones that we're gonna be playing around with. And yeah, let's do something kind of mauve romantic, kind of 
kind of smoky, kind of just something cute. This lip gloss kills like a B-R-T-C-H. But look at the size of them. Like, it works. It hurts, but it works. Beauty is pain, people. Beauty is pain. So I'm going to go into this really nice mauve pink shade called Plush. Yep. Pigment straight away. Okay, so that's actually blended up really, really, really nice. I'm gonna go into this deeper shade called Inviting, which is a really nice plummy shade. So taking under that shade, I'm gonna take the shade Ritzy, which is this really deep purple, and place that just underneath. Okay, so we've got like a really smoky purple eye going right now. Right in the middle, I'm gonna go into this gold shade called Lavish. And then for the inner eye and brow bone, I'm gonna take this shade called Silk. And then for under the eye, I'm gonna take a mix of the shade Splendor, which is this dark brown shade and this shade in the middle called Inviting. Okay, and that is the finished eye look. It's really smoky, it's mauve it's really easy to do. I have three different eyeliners to use. So I have the Cold Pencil in the shade Brown. I think this will be really nice in the waterline. Then I have the Cold Pencil in Nude. Maybe we'll do like half and half, let's be extra. Then I have the I Define Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm gonna tight line half, the outer half with this brown and then the inner half with the nude. So this is such a nice chocolatey brown. It's really, really nice. It's creamy, it's pigmented, love. My right, next, going into the nude one, I'm gonna do the inner part. That is so pigmented. Oh my goodness, I have never, ever, ever tried half and half, but this looks incredible. And this is so, so pigmented. Incredible, like actually incredible. It's more pigmented than the brown. Like when does that happen? If you take anything away from this video, it's do half and half tight lining because it looks, it looks crazy good. So my plan tonight is to go to the cinema and I'm really excited. I'm like, I'm not being in over a year, maybe a year and a half. It's actually wild, so the excitement is there. I prefer pens to the brush. Right, so I finished off the eyeliner situation. It became more of like a thicker eyeliner the more I messed up on this eye. You know how the deal goes. <laughs> so now we're gonna do mascara. So here I have the Barry M feature length mascara. It's for it's a length mascara, which is really different for me because I usually opt for you know volume mascaras. This is what the brush looks like. Looks like it'll build the lash from the root, which is always a good thing when you want to build wispy lashes. Okay, so I've just been house hunting. I think we found a house. And yeah, we're just gonna see where we, where we go with that. I can't believe house hunting is so difficult. But I think our circumstances has made it difficult. But yeah, I think just finding your dream house is just the hardest thing ever because there's always just something wrong with it. Okay, so these are the lashes. They are a little bit clumpy, but I don't mind. And to be honest, it says length, but I feel like it's built me a little bit of volume as well. So this, I really like this mascara. And I just want to note that the packaging, it gives me great Gatsby vibes and it's heavy. So it feels quite luxurious. So in reference to this lip gloss, it's stopped clumping. Okay, so these are the state of my lips. They have definitely, definitely be plumped. They actually look really good, but you do have to go through a quite a level of pain, but it basically 
it does what it says it's gonna do but for lips i have like 10,000 lip liners i've heard barry m lip liners are very good and then i have the barry m lipstick this is the velvet lipstick and i've got it in the shade impulsive so just look at how cool this lipstick is like look at the design oh it's just so satisfying to look at so this tone is more like a nudie browny orangey shade so i feel like we're probably gonna have to do something similar with the lip liner i think i might end up going with this one because it looks quite warm this is in the shade reset okay so that color is very very warm i have a problem like every single time i do a look it's always a cool toned and a warm toned look together and it's just a little bit confusing i just want to note that that lip liner was glided on it was smooth it was pigmented and very very creamy also very lightweight on the lips actually it smells a little bit sweet it's actually really nice that is definitely a velvet finish on the lips just literally lightly spritz the face so guys this is my finished look this is a full face by barry m cosmetics and i'm actually really really impressed with the makeup there are definitely things that i probably wouldn't use again but for the most part i think this full face of makeup is actually really really flattering and the products work really really well together so let's talk about the things that i loved and then the things that i didn't think were that good brow gel fabulous i think it's a really really good product if you love like feathered brows salt brows that kind of thing the concealer was really really good for coverage mascara was really good great if you want length and a little bit of volume the eyeliners like the pencil eyeliners insane like go out run out and get them because they are so good and then we've got the lip liner fantastic beautiful color i actually really like this multitude like lip and cheek product however you cannot use it on a powdered base i think this on like fresh skin or on a dewy base incredible chef's kiss things that i wasn't too sold on i like the idea of the multi-use palette but i feel like like the blush in that was beautiful but it's very 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 pigmented i feel like the highlighter was just a tad bit too dark so i'm not really sure who this palette is tailored to because i found the bronzer even though it does show up it's not done too much so I'm, i'd say i'm like a medium skin tone right now so i feel like the highlighter is aimed for deeper skin tone so like a medium tan and the bronzer is more for probably like light medium the blushes for maybe medium skin tone so they're all kind of you know scattered about i feel like they've tried to make a one palette fits all but it doesn't you can only use like certain elements of it a powder i don't like i feel like i can see it i feel like it's giving me a little bit of a white cast it doesn't mesh into the skin that well i just really not feeling it and for the pore filling primer i my pores are very visible i don't have a problem with it but if you're saying that your pore filling and I can see my pores, then no. <laughs> the foundation, I feel as though it's just not sitting on the skin as nicely as I would like. It was definitely not full coverage. So I had to use like three pumps to build up this level of coverage. And I just feel like it looks thick and it looks a little bit like greasy on my skin, which is just not what I like. Lip gloss, right. That is like look at the results the results are really cute my lips are plump and juicy right now but that shit kills it's gonna hurt like beauty is pain that's the kind of it's high levels i have a high pain threshold on lip plumpers like Too faced and um silk and glory i can handle all of that this is on a different level i think it's a mixed bag overall but generally i think these products are really good and their nail polishes are fabulous so yeah i think barry m cosmetics they do do a good bunch of makeup and it's very very affordable so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one